video files are now a native file type and can be added directly from the Add Data button. When added, the Video Player window will open up. This window can be moved anywhere in the application. As a video plays, you can quickly zoom to the extent of the video frame and even change the outline color to make it easier to see on the base map. You can also easily zoom to the extent of the sensor and frame without having to use the map navigation controls. Bookmarks not only save the current extent of the map, they also save the location in the video timeline, making it easier to revisit that point and do further analysis. With the Video Player window, you can use the Add Graphics button to digitize points of interest in the Video Player window and have them updated to the map as well, taking away the need to manually determine where the feature in the video is in the real world. These points can then be saved as a feature class so they are persisted in the organization. A lot of the times, users spend most of their time following the video, and the map becomes secondary until a feature or bookmark is created, but then the map may not be at the extent of the video. ArcGIS Pro allows you to follow the video so that the map automatically pans and zooms to always be in sync with the video. Because the software automatically georeferences each video frame, the frame image itself can be added directly to the map in order to update the underlying base map. Another popular feature is the ability to export a subset of the video so it can be shared with other analysts who need to do additional analysis or reporting. We also provide a geoprocessing tool to multiplex video and metadata into a single FMV compliant video format. This is a very important capability for users whose sensor doesn't provide this automatically. The user simply needs to navigate to the non-multiplex video, the video metadata text file, and optionally a text file that maps the metadata field names to the field names as specified in the MISB standard. All the same functionality is also available as part of ArcGIS Pro 3D Scenes.